Hey lovely ladies, welcome to week six. I don't know about you, but I can't focus when things are in a mess. My desk has to be tidy, my house has to be tidy, and all of those little things need to be taken care of. Bills paid, emails replied to, text messages sent, RSVPs taken care of. In order to be successful, we first need to clear up any distractions that will prevent us from getting on with it. When these things aren't taken care of, they're going around and around in your mind preventing you from having the clarity to focus on what's really important. If you really struggle with this in your life, there's an excellent book that deals with this called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. It's about dealing with the elephant in the room, the one thing that you've been avoiding, but also the little things that cause chaos in your mind. The other area of our life that creates energy leaks is in not keeping agreements with others or ourselves. We're going to talk about the high cost of keeping agreements. I love this story that Jack Canfield tells about a talk he was giving in a high school lecture hall. All of a sudden there's a lot of commotion outside in the hall, screaming and yelling. Jack, being an excellent counsellor and negotiator, offered to help calm the commotion. It seemed that a young man who was often late for school had come late one too many times and was about to be suspended. A suspension would mean he would lose his scholarship into college and lose his dream of being able to play league baseball. The boy had been told that if he was late three times, he'd be suspended. This was his eighth time being caught late to school, and only now was he being suspended. He was let off for being late four more times. He was confused. If you make rules and don't enforce them, don't keep your agreements, people don't know where they stand. Anyway, Jack managed to negotiate with the principal another change for the young man who desperately wanted his baseball scholarship. He helped him to figure out a way to make sure he made it to school on time by asking his baseball coach to give him a reminder call every morning and he went on to get his scholarship. Part of the rules of the game in life are to be responsible. No blaming, no defending, no justifying, no making people wrong and no shaming. Enjoy this week.